one we've got for dessert. Cherry's Jubilee. Mm. Oh, thank you, Marilyn. Oh, you forgot to light it. Uh, hey, Lily, Lily. Heck, <laughs> Grandpa, I wanted to light my own. <clears throat> Uh, speaking of what each of us is going to do this Saturday, I was wondering if you had any uh, particular plans, dear. This Saturday? Well, why do you ask, Herman? Well, I just thought if you didn't have any special plans, I might finish up a little work down at the parlor. Oh. You're going to work at the parlor Saturday? Hmm. Uh, we had a little explosion in the back room, and things are still kind of up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any plans? Oh, no. I'll go get some coffee. Oh, just a minute, Marilyn. I'll help you. I'm gonna give some of my dessert to Spot while it's still burning. <laughs> Come and get it, Spot. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna surprise Lily. We have $1,200 in our bank account. I'm gonna draw out a thousand and buy her a super neato present. <laughs> <laughs> Something really ring-a-ding-ding. <laughs> Aunt Lily, did you hear what Uncle Herman said about working Saturday? That means he's completely forgotten your wedding anniversary. I know he did, but this gives me a chance to really surprise him. <gasps> Marilyn, I'm going to take $1,000 out of our bank account and get him a fantastic present. <laughs> Got a problem, Britton? Oh, yes, Mr. Hoagland. These two checks just came in at the same time against the Munster account. They're both for $1,000. Well, how much is in the account? Only $1,200. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. Just send them both back marked insufficient funds. Oh, goody. I just love to use that rubber stamp. <laughs> mm. How do you like that? Herman, will you stop waving that thing in front of my face? Hmm. I've seen bum checks before. But Grandpa, how could they do this to such a sweet fellow who just wants to buy his wife a wedding present? <laughs> now what am I going to do? Herman, there's only one thing you can do, moonlight. You get a part-time job at night to earn enough money to buy Lily a present. But Lily might get suspicious if I got extracurricular nocturnal employment. <laughs> then all you have to do is tell Lily you're working late at the parlor. Then when you've earned enough money to buy her the present, you quit. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. You know, Grandpa, when the chips are down, it's nice to have a no-good sneak like you to turn to. Insufficient funds. It's a disgrace. We Draculas have always had a little something tucked away in the vault for a rainy day. I guess you'll just have to get Uncle Herman a less expensive anniversary present. Oh, that's a shame. Wait a minute. Maybe I could take a part-time job to earn the money. Well, you could do that, Aunt Lily. What do you suppose happened to the bank balance? Well, you know, there's always such a lot of expense when you raise a family. Last year, Eddie's teeth started coming in straight, and. We had to buy a, a new pair of braces. Of course, it was worth it. I wouldn't want that boy going through life with false fangs. I'm gonna get down there this morning. <laughs> Herman, let me give you a piece of advice. When you talk to the interviewer, you're a charming, good-looking fellow. You'll spoil it by being aggressive. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. No, spoil things by being aggressive. Herman, Herman, what are you doing? I'm writing it down in my goodie book. <laughs> well, Herman, I thought you left for the parlor. Uh, uh, just leaving, dear. <laughs> Oh, uh, Lily, uh, I won't be home for dinner. I'm working overtime at the parlor tonight. As a matter of fact, I'm working late every night this week. Oh, well, Uncle Herman, you just keep working hard for Mr. Gateman. And maybe this Thanksgiving he'll give us another beautiful turkey. <laughs> yes. Ed, remember the one last year. Oh, 
It looked so natural lying on the platter with its legs folded across its chest. <laughs> well, uh, toodaloo. Uh, come on, Grandpa. Walk me to the car. That's a break, Aunt Lily. With Uncle Herman working every night, you'll be able to take a part-time job in the evenings. Yes. Marilyn, I'm going down for an interview this morning. The Cleaver Employment Agency. <laughs> Mr. Munster, they said I was next. Oh, yes, Munster. <laughs> I'll close the door. There must be a draft. In oh, you see there? You do have a chill. You really must keep out of these drafts. I'll be all right in a minute. Are you applying for employment? <laughs> yes, I was looking uh, for some night work. Offhand, I'd say that your chances are infinitely better of acquiring a night position, as opposed to going out in the daylight. I mean, I think you'd do fine working at night. Uh, well, you see, I already do have a day job. I work in a funeral parlor. And, frankly, I really dig it. Uh, excuse me. straight. You say your uh, previous employment was as a nurse's aide. That's right, Mr. Walpole, with Florence Nightingale. <laughs> you say you'd like to take a job under your uh, maiden name. What is your maiden name? Dracula. <laughs> Dracula. I don't believe we've ever had a Dracula in here before. <laughs> oh, really? Well, it's a very common down-to-earth name in Transylvania. <laughs> Excuse me, I think I need another drink of water. <laughs> Thirsty, Parker? Yes, uh, kind of ran into a tough one. Really? Well, um, say, old buddy, uh, how would you like to uh, trade interviews? You got a rough one? No, no. <laughs> Mine's uh, strictly routine. <laughs> Just thought I'd uh, help you out. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, old man. <laughs> It's a shame you had to go through five different interviewers today down at the employment agency. But at least they finally gave you a job. That's right, Marilyn. I'll be working every night this week at the shipyards. Well, don't you look chic in your welding ensemble. Thank you, dear. You know, the man said the job would not only pay me enough to buy Herman a present, but would keep me off the streets at night. <laughs> I wonder what he could have meant by that. Mama's little baby loves shortening, shortening. Mama's little baby loves shortening bread. Mama's Ooh. little... Ah! What's the matter, Grandpa? Don't you recognize your own son-in-law, the welder? <laughs> Herb, you gum brain. What are you doing in that ridiculous outfit? Well, guy, Grandpa, I got a job. I'm working down the shipyards every night, and I'll be making enough money so I can get a real neato anniversary present for Lily. <laughs> besides, on a job like this, you meet some very interesting people. 